Andy has had a few problems with rats this year. When the guys laying the concrete in his new barn broke the door, it was an open invitation for the local Rattus Norvegicus population to overwinter in straw destined for the burner. Air rifles have taken care of a few of them. Andy's fancy footwork others. Today the question is going to be who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who? First of all, where's he been? We've missed you, Andy. Where was I last month? Um... I was here, I expect, fertilising or something. Gambia. Oh, I was Gambia, that's right, yeah, I was fishing in Gambia. But I had to pay for that, you get yours paid for, including flights. Anyway, end of. That's where I've been, I've been flat out doing field work. I'm all up together now, so the plan is we're going to extend the wall over there with um, some more grain walling so they've got further to run. We're going to blank it off at the back, either side, but um, I've got a bit of moving about to do, so if I get that done, um, you can have a chat with John. He's Mate of mine, he's brought his terriers along. Inside the barn, Andy is creating what looks like a five-a-side football pitch. If things go right, we can expect a few rats to come charging down the wing. John owns the dogs. They are all shapes and sizes, so what makes a good ratter? Boldness. One that doesn't back off. And these, these have been at it for, this one's 12 now, so she's been at it for a long, long time. But they're, they're, just, they're just keen. Come here, stay. So what do you think about rats? Um, I quite like them, to be quite honest. I've got a great respect for them. They're world survivors. You, you can have them in a cold store where they grow along the fur coat. You can have it as in Andes in the grain store. Plenty of food, which they would then breed to, um, breed to the food source. Midge! They breed to the food source. If it's a shortage of food, then they won't... Oh, sorry. John is no stranger to cameras. A few years ago, he appeared on a BBC documentary with Martin Clunes looking at different dog breeds and their roles. The film also featured a young crow. So how was Doc Martin with the ratting? After the initial shock, um, yeah, he warmed to the, warmed to the task, I say. With the arena coming together, word is spreading and we have a reasonable team building. Andy Jr. is up aloft, directing traffic. Three with sticks and five hounds. Contestants ready. Gladiators ready. Let's start moving those bales. With half the bales gone, things start livening up. The rats are starting to run out of space and we get some screamers. Richard intercepts this one just before hitting the camera. Then the dogs run out of space. Andy even leaves the cab for a bit of goalkeeping. He steps in and blocks the runners and the dogs and sticks do the rest. Let's see that again. A great team effort there. It really does start to get frantic. Sticks waving, dogs running and chewing and eating. Ah, no accounting for taste. It's wall-to-wall -wall action with the dogs doing well. Even the youngster gets his first rat. It really is built into the DNA with these dogs. I was expecting a lot more than that. Uh, there's a small hole that goes into the um, walling up the side there, uh, up the centre. Um, partition up the middle there, there's a small hole in that, so we've lost quite a few in there, which is a bit of a pain, but hopefully you've got a bit of footage, but I was hoping, like I said, I was hoping for a few more, but every dead rat's a good one, so. Um, it's bloody exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it is exciting stuff, yeah, we, we've got, there's several nests of youngsters we've got as well, and we've got seven or eight in some of those, and I think there was about five or six, five or six lots. Dom, I love you. Doesn't he? Late. I didn't realise it was going to be such an event to be honest. I've never seen this much excitement on the farm, it's amazing. Nor have I. Nor I've never have seen I. Andy drive a flipping load of that fast either. <laughs> Normally takes him about two days to move that many bales. Even though Andy says he's disappointed, it's been great fun. Yeah, it was brilliant. Proper good. Good dogs. Know what they're doing. He did very well, very pleased with them. First time. Missed a couple myself, but he got them, so that's okay. The minute you see that first rat run out, that's it. All the, all the ambition's going, that's it. All you want to do is chase after it and uh, get there before the dog, really. But unfortunately, the dog gets there before us. They think it's all over, except John, who is trying to smoke out the escapees. But he's had a blast too. It doesn't matter how many times you do it, it still, yeah, it still gets your adrenaline going. 
And as you can see, the dogs don't need any encouragement at all. Ratting, a great method of vermin control and as good as a five-a-side kickabout any day.